sight to behold. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Holland! All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity. fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Fighters back to their feet here. That knee might have landed there. Oh, nice series of knees by him there. He throws those pretty quickly, champ. They're fast, they're quick, driving them into the... Archer, there's the early takedown. He told us on Thursday he didn't necessarily see a path to victory if he couldn't get takedowns. That is certainly a good sign. Right away, he got the takedowns. I don't believe they could have imagined that it would work so well so early. Great job. All right, so an early takedown is true. So nice execution there, and perhaps an opportunity to get that patented ground and pound off. This is where he's the best. He's one of the best ground and pound fighters we've seen in the UFC. He's gotten there early. Let's see if he can take full advantage of it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a good go fight. The Close fight for a decision. For the winner, by you. UFC lightweight division bout. Ready? You ready to fight? Well, it's good to see Tony Ferguson back on the proven ground here tonight. That was a devastating knee injury. And candidly, Ferguson back sooner than a lot of people might have expected. Now let's see if he can make up for the lost time. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high 
locking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Beautiful straight punch there by Tony Ferguson. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. All right, so there it is, the early takedown. He told everyone here during fight week within earshot that he was going to try to wrestle, try to get this fight to the ground, and had no problem doing so. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hip back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. The official decision is... Coming up next, a UFC lightweight division bout. You ready? Are you ready? Let's All right, so here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Attack an arm bar. him up and slams him down. Big explosive slam to lift him and slam him out of that arm bar. Go right into side control. Now let's see what he does, right? Sometimes when you do that, the choke or the yes. submission can get tighter, but he was able to oh. evade it. Yes. Here's Bruce Buffer. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The winner by unanimous... Coming up next, a UFC lightweight division bout. Ready. You ready to fight? Let's do it. All right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Gonna be the one that's gonna control where this fight takes place. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Oh, yeah, right hand. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here. He's being busy, but it's also the time. Oh, look at that. He left up and landed the diving punch to the head. Oh, and there comes the stoppage. Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you got to protect the fighter. And I thought he did a good job of doing just that. So a big win for him here tonight, and he made an even bigger statement by getting it by TKO. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at 33 seconds of the very first round. He played the winner by TKO Holland. Well, there he is, the man of the hour. And you got to think this dude's going to get a serious Instagram push tonight after the win by TKO. Oh, he's going to get a massive 